If editing video is like being a digital artist, then the playhead is your paintbrush. In this final timeline lesson, we'll see how the playhead can be used to slice and dice your way to your first masterpiece, demonstrating how it's so much more than just a simple preview tool. Let's get started. We've already covered how you can trim the ends of media, removing unwanted footage from either the beginning or the end of the clip. But what if you need to remove something in the middle? Well, select the clip, position the playhead somewhere in the center, then click the split button to create two separate clips. With your media in two halves, you can trim from the middle. Move one half further down the timeline, or whatever else you need to do to achieve your desired effect. I know what you're thinking. Whoa there, if I start cutting and moving everything up like that, then I'm going to mess up the whole video. Fear not. Anything you do can be undone with the click of the undo button. And trimmed clips can easily be restored at any time just by simply dragging their ends back out. And if you've ever totally overdone it and need to start over, you can always pull a fresh copy of your clip down from the media bin. Satisfied? Good, because we're going to cut more stuff. This media, stacked up high on multiple layers, slice the whole thing by right-clicking the playhead and choosing Split All. It's a total time saver, like a black belt through a pile of boards, all split. Not powerful enough for you? What if I told you a little secret? That if you hold the shift key while moving the playhead, it splits, then shoves everything out of the way like a bulldozer. Use this to make room for something completely different. Then hold shift again and pull it all back to close the gap. And ooh, splitting is fun, but you still have to trim if you want stuff actually gone. Like in this example, I want this whole part gone from my video. Is there a tool to help with that? You guessed it, it's the playhead. Watch this. Separate and drag the red and green handles at the top of the playhead to make a timeline selection. And here's a tip. If your video has narration, look for the gaps in your waveform to help make the selection and avoid cutting anyone off mid-sentence. I said avoid cutting anyone off mid-sentence. Once you're confident in the selection, click the cut button. This slices your clip in two places, removes everything in between, closes the gap, and stitches your media back together. Very, very neat. I know you're just itching to try these editing techniques, but let me finish with two more points, one small, and one pretty important. Sometimes you'll make a timeline selection that you don't actually need. To exit selection mode and collapse the handles, just double click the playhead. And now the big one. As your confidence grows, you're going to create some fairly complicated timelines. This is good. It means your videos were trimmed and tailored by skillful hands. But you can reduce some of this complication by selecting large chunks of your timeline then right-clicking and grouping them into a single media item. Grouping can be crucial in making sure important sequences remain in sync. Groups can be opened for continued timeline tweaking, and of course, ungrouped if needed. You see, the timeline isn't a scary place at all. It's a playground of possibilities, waiting for you to go and explore. Have fun creating your own Camtasia videos, and thanks for watching.